Hello everyone, so we're just here uh, currently at Buttermere, as you can see in the background there. Uh, me, Sean and Lottie on a two day hiking expedition going um, wild camping. Going to head up the side of uh, Fleetwood Pike, which you can see in the background there. And then heading up onto Haystacks to camp next to an ominous tarn. So, yeah, lovely photography. Get some pictures just for the first part. And then uh, we'll carry on with the route now. <laughs> Just stop for a little break just before we head up there to uh, fleet with pie up on top got me melton mowbray pork pie which lottie clearly wants <coughs> so we're just going to go up there to get some energy and then push up which with close to 20 kilos on your back is going to be difficult but be worth it for the viewers on a clear day, as you can see. So, we are just up on the nose of Fleetworth Pike and definitely tough with this weight on your back. Um, very lucky that I stopped for me Mountain Mowbray Pie just before we got onto the nose. At least even in this cooler weather, it's about three degrees, managed to get a sweat on just due to how hard I'm actually working, putting one foot in front of the other. And that's all it, all it is, one foot in front of the other. Beautiful views of Buttermere. So, just turn you around. That's where we're heading up. See Sean and Lotzi just in the distance up there. So, let's crack on. got one last little push just before we are at the top of Fleetwood Pike. Um, that first half or two thirds up um, was tough, especially as I'm not used to, to hiking really with any weight on my back. It's normally lightweight, just day sack, so having to carry my tent and all of my uh, supplies for 24 hours does add an extra load on your joints, but it's still a uh, Still, as I always say, one foot in front of the other, one foot in front of the other. You just got to keep going with it. So, just a little little break to get some water in. So you can see the views behind all the snow-capped mountains. Really is beautiful. Um, at this elevation as well, it is a little bit easier to push because with the cooler air around us, I'm not overheating too much when I'm um, when I'm pushing a little bit harder. So. Yeah, get a little bit more water in me, last little push, and then we'll head to the top of Fleetwood Pike. So we're just on the top of Fleetwood Pike now. Um, it's about 2.38 in the afternoon, so sunset is due for around quarter to four. So um, we're heading over now to Anonymous Tarn, which is just behind me there, as you can see. Um, that was tough coming up, especially with the weight on the back, but to enjoy these views, especially with, with the snow, it's the first time I've been out in, uh, in the mountains in the snow. So. It um, really is an experience, just clear fresh air, no wind, and it is actually still quite warm, as long as you don't stop for too long. Um, 
so yeah just gonna get the packs back on now uh, maybe take a few more pictures and then head over to anonymous time start setting up camp right see you there <music> Five minutes out from Banana Town. It's been a lot of fun trekking today in the snow. Um, luckily, brought my ice axe, but we haven't had a use for it yet today. Um, it's been no, no, really packed ice or anything along those lines. But I think we're just both looking forward now to getting the. Uh, Getting the tents up, putting a brew on, getting some scoff down us. So, probably ETA five minutes to an animal town. We have saw two uh, backup pictures, pictures just along um, by I think what's called Black Town. I'll have to double check that one. Um, so, we do have them as a backup just in case. Anonymatan. Whoop. Just in case Anonymatan is busy. So let's crack on. Five minutes either. So we're all pitched up right by an Um There's mine sagging a little bit on one side because I didn't see the big rock. So not too bad because we've got the opening on the other side. So that is uh, the OEX Fox uh, two-man tent. Can hardly see it in the light. And then got Sean over there. And his marmot. Lots of just having air dinner. So, probably just get uh, the stoves burning up now. Get some food in us and then have uh, a couple of beers later. Just cooking some dinner. Um, me and Sean both picked up the same OEX stove. So, probably can't see us in the distance there. You can just see the little flame. Grabbed ourselves a nice little bargain. So tonight for dinner I have got 
Uh, expedition quality adventure food, pasta carbonara, 600 calories. We definitely need this for this evening. So, let's get cooking. Right, so we've just had dinner with a nice little uh, pasta carbonara. Um, it's currently what time? ten to six in the evening, as you can see. It's pretty much completely pitch black. Try not to blind myself with the torch. So we've had dinner. Um, obviously got the tents up now. Um, just having a couple of beers. Sean's got a brew dog. Um, Hazy Jane. I've just had a Scarfell. Uh, I can't quite remember the name of the company who it's from, but I thought since we're in the lakes, got to honour it with the uh, IPA. And now the second one I'm going to have is a can of Guinness. Classic, just get my iron stores up ready for uh, the second half of the hike tomorrow. So we'll probably uh, sign off here for the night and then catch up with you in the morning. <laughs> morning everyone so it's the next morning um just getting a little bit of breakfast now i've just had mine i did um beans eggs and sausage uh in a little i think it's adventure food was the pack yeah. and then got sean and lotsy over there lotsy's had their breakfast sean's just cooking his now so all in all it was a really good night's sleep um only problem was was you'd get too warm and then you'd get too cold and it's finding that balance so I did quite wake up quite a few times but when I got to sleep it was quite enjoyable didn't notice any difference um I think the sunrise is due in around five minutes but as you can see from um the weather around me it is quite overcast today it does say it's going to be clearing up later so hopefully we'll get some more views like we did yesterday um so no sunrise this time over the anonymous town but still a uh, beautiful winter's morning right gonna get some coffee on the go now got a uh, contact coffee got me contact coffee and my little camelback flask so i'm gonna have some coffee get ready for the day squared away on my kit and then we will be heading up to um high style over that way and then back down to the cars There's our camp all squared away. Obviously going by the wild camping ethos of leave no trace. So we've left it pretty much exactly how we found it, apart from a little bit of melted ice. But um, So packed up, gonna get the bags on now and then head up to high style. Hopefully now it is starting to clear up. Um, as you can see, let's turn this round, the sunrise, It's got a proper Himalayan feel to the morning, to be honest, with the uh, the clouds over over the snow-capped mountains. So it is beautiful. Hopefully, we'll get some good views up on uh, High Style as well, and um, see what Buttermere has to offer this morning as well, because we haven't saw that yet. So got a lot to look forward to today. So let's crack on. Let's get going. So we're just whoop, coming off of haystacks now, just behind me. 
we've got this amazing uh, cloud inversion all the clouds just came in looks beautiful can't even see what's in here anymore and that's where we're heading up there fleet with pipe completely covered by clouds beautiful sight and then we're just heading up onto High Crag and over onto High Style. Yeah, it does look quite intimidating with the snow and obviously after a night camp as well. We know it's going to be tough but that's what we signed up for so let's get it done. It started to get a little bit more icy now. The whole way up the high crag, we just broke out the uh, the ice spikes, trampons. Yeah, it's better safe than sorry. So we're going to up there now, a little bit by little bit. So we are now on the top of High Crag. It's a high style. Which you can't really see. Clouds in. I had to get the ice axes and the crampons out, but enjoying it. It's a experience for me. So I've got to go to the high style. Go to the valley. That's me. I'm back to the car. halfway on the ridge now between high crag and high style um, still got the crampons on just as the conditions keep changing so wear it some places it might be packed ice and some places it might be snow but it is worth having them on because they're not, not massive spikes on them so now we've got that ice axe for backup so yeah so heading up over now onto high style which is just over there Right, to see it at the top. So there we have it, top of high style. As you can see, complete white out, beautiful up here. Um, thankfully, had the ice axe on the way up. Because even though I didn't need it to arrest at all, no slipping, but just to dig in and use it as a, as a walking pole, it took a bit of uh, weight off the legs because we are still carrying the camping gear, minus a couple of beers and a couple of litres of water, but still extra weight so right so we're just coming off red pike i've just had to um switch to my phone because the gopro died as the battery doesn't last too well in um colder weather so as you can see still wintry conditions just had a few uh practice of me uh rest with my ice axe as well so just on our way down now I uh, can just see bottom here in the distance um, and we did actually see a, a paraglider come down with his um, parachute I think it's a paraglider, I'll have to double check but I'll put a picture up um, here now because I didn't manage to catch it on video so um, yeah, probably won't film too much more now um, I'll do an update from the back of the car, see you there and there we are just finishing back where we started yesterday at bottom here so i'm going to sign off there thank you very much for watching if you've got any ideas of where you want me to wild camp leave them in the comment section below please give this video a like and subscribe and share it with your friends and family peace